I'm Walker Graham, and this is my project about plate tectonics. Okay, so what we're showing is a divergent plate boundary. It's a, it's a free roll up. The free roll up is representing my oceanic plate since it's thin and dense. So this is a divergent boundary and a mid ocean ridge. So is it just laying on a plate? It's uh, It has frosting underneath to represent the magma that comes up. I'm going to pull it apart, and as you can see, it starts to pull off. And where it does pull off, the icing comes up from between, just like magma does with mid ocean ridges, to create a new seafloor for the ocean. So this is the divergent boundary of it pulling apart and a mid-ocean ridge because the icing is pulling up like the magma and creating new C4. So what happens to the magma when it is exposed to the water? Uh, it cools down and uh, creates rock which creates new C4 and the plates will eventually just keep spreading apart and stuff. So. And the second demonstration this is the continental crust sitting on the asthenosphere which in this case is the icing and the oceanic crust is the fruit roll up. So we're going to push the uh, fruit roll up or the oceanic crust towards the continental crust, which this is representing a um, convergent boundary with subduction zone. And as you can see, since the uh, continental crust is less dense than the fruit roll up, when I push them together, they go over and the oceanic crust uh, goes underneath, thus creating a uh, convergent boundary with subduction zone. This is going to be a transform boundary. The two saltines are representing the continental and continental crust, uh, both of which, or one of which is moving faster than the other. So when it goes past, it will rub against and cause earthquakes or cracks. Uh, the icing is the athenosphere, or asthenosphere, which is what the plates move on. So. As you can see, while I'm moving the continental crust against the other one, it's cracking and bending upwards, which would create earthquakes. And that was representing a transform boundary. So this is representing the um, <coughs> continental continental collision with the plates. The two saltines are representing the continental plates and the water is making them soft enough to do this. So, or the water is the atmosphere at this point. So I'm going to push them together. As you can see, they go up and form mountains. So, which is what a continental con uh, continental continental collision with plates would form. I would like to thank everyone for making this video possible. But most of all, I would like to thank the best science teacher in the world. You already know who it is. Dr. Cindy Bowen, Ben Bolding for really no reason at all, and Grant Sanders for me and my friend. Also, everyone in the classroom that is now watching this video. Peace out. They let me know before I was famous. I had too much time.